Like, you know what? It's done. I'm so excited about it. So I ordered. I put my orders in. Like I'm actually creating something digitally. I am scared shitless. So this is gonna be like one big gigantic haul maybe? Does anyone else just stare out the window? Like, there's absolutely nothing going on outside and here I am just... Staring. <laughs> <Wee. laughs> <laughs> okay, well, anywho. Did I say hi to y'all? I don't even remember. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, hi, hello, how are you? My name's Bree. I have so many updates. This is what this will be. Okay, so check it out. Check it out. The makings of creating a business. Tax season has come. I have received refunds. I have made purchases on quite a bit of stuff to help move along that process and get everything started rolling. And I wanna share some of that with you. I think where we left off last time, I had bought bookmark molds. I like the size of them. I like the thickness of them. With that being said, I made another purchase. So I got three of these. That's nice brings a total of 20 so I think that will be a good good start the next item that I purchased was these little keychain molds for these I don't want to disclose what those are just yet you'll have to wait and find out so let's see what the little freebie is oh it's a little leaf how cute oh yeah oh yeah I'm super excited so I got this on sale on Amazon pegboards are expensive I was super nervous about it, but I mean, I have eight pieces, so you can already see like, hold on. Do you see? But I got four more of these, so this is gonna be perfect. Like imagine how, just hold on. Just hold on, give me a second. Okay, there we go. So just imagine, the boards being here and there being four more over there so pegboard check so the small business that i was ordering the pigment powder from i was looking at the colors that they offer and they don't really have like a good variety i didn't really want to commit to anything super big and what if i don't like it or i don't know i don't know so I got this one. Um, it is a gemstones collection sample set. It gives me a bunch of different colors. And then if I like one of them, you know, then I know which one it is. And it's a small one. And I ordered this off of Amazon too. I'll link it down below. I don't know, I'm just super excited because it's super small, but I can play around with the different colors, figure out what I like, what I don't like, what color combinations I like together, and not be super upset that I bought, you know, a whole big thing of certain colors or a certain brand. So I'm super excited about that. And the bags are resealable. Okay. Oogie doogie. Okay. So with this purchase from Ikea, this was a recent purchase. And this was more so of me preparing for, for the small business. So I got these little clips. I got these clips from Ikea. Oh, I didn't know they were metal. I thought that would be cool for when I create like prints or the thank you note and I can clip it on there on the pegboard and have it on the pegboard. That's so cute. I know it is. I bought these hooks for the pegboard as well. So on these, I imagine each color tassel will have its own little hook and that will be where I store the tassels. Got eight of these. And then I saw this thing and I was like, oh, this is cute and it's cheap, so I should get it. So this is a little phone holder in the shape of a chair. Like, do you see it? It's so cute. It's like a little lawn chair and you just set it in the little peg or like you just. Why is everything a peg now? <laughs> you just set it like in the little section right there and you just prop your phone up. I would show y'all, but my phone is actually what we're recording on, so. Okay. Then. Really? All right, so I bought two of these bad boys. See, just to put my orders in. 
I don't know if you guys watch any, sorry, I'll leave it alone. Like small business vlogs or day in the life of a business owner or anything like that. And they're packing their orders and they're going to the post office and stuff like that. They have them in bags and tote bags and all kinds of stuff. And I was like, yeah. So I bought two. Basically, you know, like I was just preparing myself for like the growth. I did buy some smaller ones for the beginning because I'm a little, I'll be a new little baby business owner. But they're like folded up so nice. I don't think I'll ever be able to fold these back up and put them back in there. <laughs> it's definitely not tote bag material. It's definitely, you know, but it's not gonna rip. Like, it's definitely not gonna rip. Okay, that's good. So I ordered two of those for, you know, as I start off. Then I bought like the little binder stand. Just on the directions. Yeah, you down first and then you. Easy peasy. And then it has a little smiley face on the end there. But I thought this would be super cool to hold like the packaging in there. So I got 10 of these. Last, I bought a doormat. And this is really good quality, like wow. But I was gonna make my own design to put on the doormat, but this is definitely not gonna work for me to do that with. So I'm just gonna have a doormat. I mean, it's heavy duty. That's heavy duty. <laughs> okay, so that's pretty much all that I- Well, nope, okay, I take that back. I take that back. I was introduced to Timu, and Timu is freaking addictive, yo. And they have some of everything. Some of everything. Everything. I'm gonna have to uninstall the app. That's just how. <laughs> That's just how much of a problem it might be for me. But I did finally receive an order from Timu that I ordered about a few weeks ago. So I ordered a heat gun. Use that for my bookmarks. Oh, 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 oh. I ordered a thermal printer it was cheaper to order it on timu than it was on amazon actually here she is it's bluetooth um enabled right so then i ordered this cute little sea salt lamp here oh look at that and it like just changes the whole little mood in like this little area it's cute i'm so excited about it that's nice I did order some more of those things that I thought was going to hold my bookmarks. These are just some of the bookmarks that I've made so far. But I think this will be cool to like store the bookmarks in pretty much. And then maybe have them separated by like either by the design or have them separated by the color. I don't know yet. But I thought this was super cool. So I did order three of these. They're all pink. So green, pink. I, I don't know the color scheme that I'm going for here, but you know, you see it. But I'm not upset about it because, I mean, that's like dead on to match my freaking chair. Like, so I'm okay with that. <laughs> Let me show you this. Let me show you this bad boy. I got me a backpack. Super excited about it. It's, it's like a light bluish grayish color with a darker gray here. Um, I got this off of Amazon. It's the brand Lovick. Lavook, 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 L O V E V O O K. You sound it out. Like you can't tell me it's not cute. It's cute. I know it's cute. Thank you. I bought a heat press. It's a nice, a nice heat press. A nice heat press. Look what I got. We have the iPad Air fifth generation, 256 gigabytes in the color space gray. So I have a whole little iPad situation. I even bought the Apple Pencil, of course. And I love that the Apple Pencil, it is like magnetic. See how it just clicks in place? Mm. This is the app that I use for editing, which is InShot. I don't have to edit on my phone anymore. I use Canva for creating thumbnails and graphics that you might see in, in previous videos. 
I got this screen protector. It's supposed to give it that paper texture, which mm -hmm. I will say that it does definitely make a difference. You hear that? And I have one left in here. So it came with two. So yeah, so that's pretty much all for the haul. So I am currently working on a digital picture. I haven't finished everything just yet. I'm still working on it. Um, but here is basically what I've started on so far. It's just a bunch of different things that my brother likes and I kind of combined it into a picture. I think it would be cool to go in his office. I think he'll feel the sentiment like, damn, like my big sister loves me. <laughs> you know, like this is my first like digital art. Like I'm actually creating something digitally, like this is it. I think the first piece of art that I actually like drew and gave to somebody was I drew something for Stan and I drew it in my sketchbook and basically I like, colored it with like color pencil. I had it printed out on like a metal sheet and gave it to him and he loved it. Um, yeah, that's kind of what kind of started my whole taking art seriously. Yeah, so I'm super excited about that, but this is gonna be my first like actual digital art project. And it's taken me a lot longer than I thought it would take for me to work on it. 16 paranoia filled days later. I briefly showed, I don't even know if I really showed, I think I just briefly a little peekaboo of what I was working on and I said it was for my brother for his birthday. So basically I asked him to send me, you know, to tell me about himself, you know, like what does he like, you know, what are things that you like to do, whatever things that you like, what are little random things about you kind of thing. And so he sent me basically this <laughs> message and I kind of just tried to go through different things of what I wanted that to look like. I kept going over and over and over it. I kept going back. I kept trying to add more to it. I finally just bit the bullet and was like, you know what? It's done. I live in Texas. My brother currently lives in Louisiana. Um, so what I did was I basically went to good old Walgreens. <laughs> so they were having a sale. It was 50% off on all like things photo. I got the biggest one I could. I believe it was like 26 by 30, I believe. And basically I went ahead and I just ordered it and I sent him a message. <laughs> so we had a brief, a very brief little conversation. And that's how I basically told him to go get his birthday gift. <laughs> I hope he really likes it. I hope he sees all the little things and he sees why I asked him the different questions. I'm super nervous. I'm excited to see his footage. I asked him to record a little bit. I might be a little biased because he's my brother, but I feel like, I feel like he's very funny. He's very awkward. He's very weird. He's very so much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting and they had to hire a new one. Hear me out. Hear me out. I am scared shitless. This whole thing, this whole creating a business, this whole creating actual products, actual merchandise and stuff like that, that makes me nervous. What if they don't like it? What if it doesn't sell? What if? Ooh. But I know it's a part of it. I know it's a part of it. Anyhow. We are here today. We are here today, finally ready to watch, to hear what my brother thought about his piece. I have a weighted blanket on for like a nice little, a nice little hug. I have Quentin set up here on the iPad. We are ready. So I just got back from the CVS uh, because Brianna decided to send me something for my birthday and I really do appreciate that. Now, I should have recorded it because I told you to. I went there and I go to the photo counter and the woman's just like, you know, how can I help you? And I was like, oh, you know, I'm just here to pick up something, you know, the usual, right? Every, like everyone else that probably goes to the freaking photo counter. I was like, I'm just here to pick up something. She's like, oh, okay, no problem. I can help you. Uh, what's the name on it? I was like, it's probably going to be either a Quentin Hewitt or Brianna Hewitt. And she's just like, oh, okay. His face. Five minutes later. How do you, how do you spell, uh, how do you spell that? Which one? I said two different names. So you're going to have to, you know, is stupid. elaborate for me a little bit. He's and she's like, she's like, oh, the first one. I was like, Quentin, I was like, it's Q-U-E-N-T-I-N. Which I'm looking at the gigantic boxes that have alphabets. They literally, they literally have gigantic letters of the alphabet on each box. I can clearly see it. And she's just like, she's just like, you said C-U? Huh? No. I said Q, <laughs> Q, like right there in the, in the in the Q box. It's huge. And she was just like, hmm, is it a poster? 
I don't know. I was like, I don't know. I don't know. I, I honestly don't know. That's fair. You know, like, I'm like, I don't know what it is. It's, it's a surprise. Okay. I don't see it there. Okay. Uh, look under Brianna. Okay. Is it a poster? Bro. <laughs> she ruined it. I don't know. I don't know. And I asked her to like wrap it in like a bag so that I couldn't see what it is. You know, it's supposed to be like a surprise. And she didn't even know. She was, she, she just, she was, she was like, well, we don't have any like, you know, bags like that. So here you go. So, so this is, so, so this is what I got. I got this, uh, I got this here gigantic see-through bag, which I still haven't seen yet, but I'm excited to see it. <laughs> and I'm going to record that. Oh, it's huge. Oh, what is this? I have no idea what this is. Hold on. What is this? I'm going to have to roll it out on the floor. Oh, shoot. Okay. What is this? Oh, that's cool. Oh, this is actually really, really cool. Is that a picture of me and Diamond up there? Ah, you know what you did. That's a good one. That's a good one. Hold on. Let's, can I turn the camera around? Man, I don't know how to do this. Ah, I don't think I can. Can I? No. Ah, hold on. I'm going to do it. And he didn't send. That's it? Quentin. Me all emotional and shit. Like I got a little tear coming in for me. Um, damn it. It's 8.52 in the morning. There's no telling if he's actually up or not. This is... Yeah, let me just call him. Let me just call him. Like taking me all out the mood and stuff. <sighs> little brothers. <laughs> oh yeah, we're rolling eye emoji. Emphasis, sir. Okay, we are back. Finally got a hold of my brother. Got the footage and let's see what he had to say. This is so cool. Okay, so I had to move it to the bed. This is so cool. Look, you got Stark Industries. Coral, me, and Diamond. Of so course. cute. Where do you get out? Patrick's asleep. <laughs> he likes uh, his naps. The Millennium Puzzle. Uh, a guitar. Oh, wait. Yeah, it is a guitar. Oh, with. Because <laughs> he's in the Navy. I like this. What's it say? To do list. Oh, my birthday. Seven. Okay, okay. Make spa appointment. Buy Comic-Con tickets. I love that. Go to Best Buy? You're dang right. I've already been to Best Buy. You don't gotta, you don't gotta tell me. This is Hey Brie. I love this. This is, this is great. This is amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Whew. I don't know why that was so hard for me to get that feedback back from, to get that feedback back. I don't know why that was so hard. I don't know why I was so worried about that. I don't know. I, it just, it scares me. It scares me. Putting myself out there in a way that I haven't put myself out there makes me nervous. I think that's what it is. I think that's what it is. And it's like, I have to. If I want to make my dreams a reality, I'm glad I'm putting myself out there. Thank you for watching. If anyone else is out there in the same boat, put yourself out there so you can grow. Put yourself out there so you can actually